Hi everyone, this is Brandon here and welcome to my next episode, day 4 of my Let's Clash series. So we are just collecting uh, some loot as I just woke up and then eventually I upgraded my gold storage as my structure actually got uh, completed and now requesting for some uh, minions from my clanmates. So going ahead with uh, one attack, uh, this was uh, kind of low in loot but I decided to go for it because I uh, was too busy in the morning, I didn't uh, want to uh, put my time more on clash so I just did a quick raid and then eventually I went for breakfast this and that. So yeah, the first attack as you can see was a uh, 46,000 uh, gold, uh, wasn't too much, uh, deploying the troops in the same old manner, destroying the defences first, as most of the bases at such a low league level, their defences are all exposed, not being even protected by the walls itself. I would think uh, most people have actually quit the game and then eventually they just uh, leave their accounts like this, the uh, walls not even doing it properly. Especially uh, for those uh, really low leagues like Bronze League or Silver League, you can find such bases like this. So just uh, going ahead and skipping ahead, as you can see my CC came out with all the minions and just uh, took out the whole base uh, easily. So just going ahead to get uh, more national flags, as mentioned in my previous episode, episode 3, I said that I was using uh, national flags to stock up my goal for my uh, next Town Hall level, going to Town Hall 5 soon. So I found this uh, exposed Town Hall 8 with a lot of resources, 300 over 1000, almost 400 over 1000 gold and elixir. So I decided to go for it and just wanted to get the gold itself because my elixir on the top right, as you can see, is almost to the max capacity. So I decided to just attack the gold mines and the gold mines they were relatively easy to get especially the ones that were just beside the walls other than uh, for this particular two over there I had a slight difficulty to go for them because I didn't have any wall breakers but even if I had wall breakers the barbarians when they go in they'll just get taken out by the wizard tower over there although it's only a level 1 wizard tower but it's able to take out my barbarians really quickly so dropping my minions they flew in to take out the gold mines first after that the uh, wizard tower actually did get uh, taken out by the minions also so the minions did really well to take out all the structures and also the gold that i needed so just fast forwarding ahead the archers has taken out the town hall itself and gotten me the one star 18 percent but still uh, got the win so we are back to our base again uh, getting more national flags again so just stocking up the gold so in total there are actually 25 national flags which total up to 2.5 million so now the defense as you can see i went offline then after that uh, pewdiepie he attacked me one of the very famous youtuber but of course this isn't him so it's just like someone uh, using his name to come and attack me so when i saw that i was kind of surprised and even uh, so that i was the I took a screenshot of it. So uh, back to our rating itself, as you can see, uh, this base contains 234,000 uh, gold. So I decided to go for it as it was really high in loot. However, the loot wasn't easy to get because uh, the gold mines, they were all separated. And even uh, one of the gold mines was inside the base itself, almost to the core of the base. As you can see, the storages, they are uh, pretty empty. So I knew I had to focus my troops onto the gold mines itself. So just carrying on with the attack and then after that as you can see I dropped my minions on the top left taking out a lot of the structures over there first before they actually go for the gold mine and the wizard tower over there they're dealing a lot of damage to my troops and minions did really well to take them all out however when the minions all flew in they got taken out by the other defenses uh, eventually I was only left with one minion alone over there and uh, with other troops around the whole entire base sniping the other uh, structures that are unprotected so we are just going to fast forward a little bit to see what's going to happen because they are just going to take out the remaining structures as of now. So the minions just flying above there and then after they just scoring us the 1 star, 53%. So back to our base again, getting more and more and more national flags. So yeah, we are almost due, we get uh, 25 national flags and then eventually I did a lot more farming again. This base appeared 252,000 gold. I didn't need elixir again as mentioned because as you can see on the top right, I'm really almost to the max. I've been uh, trying to upgrade my elixir storages uh, really badly as uh, trying to get the third builder so that I could upgrade my uh, structures really fast. Uh, not really fast but at least faster, it's faster by around 33% as compared to having only two builders. So now we are going ahead with the attack. As you can see, I deployed with a multi-touch uh, deployment again. As mentioned as in my previous video, it's really a fast method to deploy your troops. If you guys want to learn as to how to deploy this fast, you guys actually need to practice a lot. Practicing uh, to do this uh, strategy is really important, especially for those who are playing on uh, iOS devices. It's really important to off your multi-gesture feature so that your screen do not shake about. So if you want to uh, use this strategy, you guys should actually off it in your generals and then after they go to your set settings and then your uh, multi-gesture, it should be off. 
So that's something I actually do. But however, I'm actually playing on my Android uh, mobile phone. So it's not too uh, problematic for me. So going ahead with another attack, this uh, was a relatively easy uh, base to attack, just uh, deploying all on the left side and using my multi uh, deployment strategy again. So it's a really nice strategy as uh, it deploys the troops really fast, super, super fast. So just carrying on, the minions just flying around to take out the last two builders hut and scoring us the three stars. So getting more national flags again and more and more national flags. I know you guys will be saying, why am I getting so many national flags and why am I showing you guys so many national flags? So the thing is, I've been stocking up the gold for my next town hall level as mentioned again. The next town hall level, once I sell all the national flags, I will be able to get... Uh, 250,000 gold back and uh, to use 250,000 gold to upgrade my stuff for the start of a new town hall level will be really nice and some of you have stated in the comments below in my previous uh, episode saying that this is a really good idea you guys will actually use it for uh, from like town hall 9 to town hall 10 however I do not suggest uh, doing this if you are still uh, require gold for your previous levels upgrades for example if you are at town hall 9 and you need a uh, goal to upgrade say your walls they aren't max yet so i don't think you should use this method as you will kind of sacrifice the goal which you technically need so that's not uh, something that i would do i will only do when my goal is overflowing or when i do not need the goal like in my case right now the walls have already been maxed so i'm just uh, stocking up the national flags just to prepare for the next following level so just carrying on, a uh, next attack, I found this uh, Town Hall 7, an exposed Town Hall 7, dropped some archers to snipe over there first with 240,000 gold to loot. So as you can see, the gold mines, they are quite uh, spread out. I was thinking uh, how to attack this particular uh, area, uh, how to attack the gold mines in a particular manner whereby I do not uh, sacrifice my troops too much. And at the same time, I didn't want to take a huge risk to use my level 2 barbarians and archers to try to take out such a difficult base. So uh, I've been used to using a level 7 batch. So trying to use a level 2 batch is kind of uh, tricky because uh, the health and also the attack damage is pretty low as compared to a level 7. So of course uh, it does affect my uh, mental rating. But of course I always have to tell myself that I'm using a lower level troops. So I have to not be too greedy to go for those really difficult bases as it will be really uh, an ugly sight if I were to use my level 2 archers and barbarians to go for it. So uh, as you can see my research slab, I'm only left with giant to upgrade. I didn't want to upgrade that because uh, that I feel that that's not a troop that I'm going to use. So another tip for you guys, if you guys are going to not use a specific type of troop, if like for example you guys plan to use a golem, wizard and witch next time when you all uh, go for war etc. Then uh, try to focus on those uh, troops, do not uh, focus on other troops such as the Valkyries or Hawks or whatsoever. However, if you guys are planning to play mass Hawks for a war, of course uh, do focus on that and uh, focus on the stuff that you need. I always tell my clan mates, focus on those stuff that you need, especially when you are doing your research. So for me right now, I'm only focusing on barbarians and archers, which I'm going to try to get it to as high as level po as possible, so that I will be able to use them in a more efficient manner. So for this particular attack itself, as you can see, the clan castle contained two wizards. So when it came out two wizards, I was like thinking, hmm, wow, this is the first uh, clan castle after such a long time that I see a strong troop coming out. Because uh, I've not seen a wizard or a dragon or a balloon coming out from most of the CCs that I attack. Usually they are barbarians and archers and I know how to take them out easily. However, wizards, um, they are kind of tricky. But dropping my minions over there, they just uh, take them out really quickly. Uh, otherwise, they'll be able to do splash damage to my uh, barbarians and then take my barbarians out really quickly. So just continuing the attack, taking out all the gold and then in fact, uh, just ending the battle right now after getting all the gold that I needed. So we are going to watch another raid. As you can see, this is another exposed uh, town hall on the top over there. The town hall is exposed, so it's really nice to go ahead and snipe for the town hall. You will definitely get the win. And of course, I usually drop like around 4 level 2 archers. If the archers are say level 5, 6 or 7, I'll just drop 2. It will be able to take out any town hall levels. However, um, if the archers they are lower in level, like uh, level 1, I'm pretty sure you might want to drop more, like maybe 6 archers. So as of now, I'm dropping just 4 archers with a uh, level 2 archers so as now we see the 5 archers over there they're just taking out the town hall one more archers just for safety issue and just uh, ending the raid with 35% so we are back to getting more uh, flex again and uh, getting more and more flex so it's just a uh, kind of a uh, tedious work to just uh, stock up the flex but if I do not do this then the goal will just uh, overflow so getting 3 national flex from this particular uh, storage capacity alone so we are back to another attack 
So as you can see, this base uh, is quite a tricky base to attack. I didn't want to spread my troops as how I usually would spread out. So I decided to drop it like a V-shape at the bottom over there. And then eventually, once the minions all flew in to take out the storages alone, the storages basically uh, just went down really quickly. There weren't any uh, air bombs over there or even air defenses to take those minions out. So again, back to our base, uh, getting the very last national flag possible in our decoration uh, section. So yeah, we have gotten all the national flags stocked up and ready for our Town Hall 5 upgrade. Hopefully, be able to get the Town Hall 5 upgrade soon and eventually uh, get the wars done ASAP. So I want to get a gold war or in fact up to Town Hall 6, a purple war. As a purple war, when uh, people see and look at it, they will get uh, intimidated to try not to attack your base. So to me, uh, some of you guys uh, have said, um, although the wars do not affect you that much when you guys raid. Yes, I agree with that. I mean, when I see a max Town Hall 10, for example, with a level 11 wars with my main account, of course, attacking, I'll just go ahead and attack it, even if the loot is all the way inside and it contains the amount of loot that I want. Like, for example, 400 or 500,000, I'll just go ahead and whack it. However, if um, I look at a war that I determine that it's really too difficult as such that the wars are in such a manner whereby I uh, won't be able to bring my troops in to the core, then I won't uh, attack it. And most people, what I know is they are mentally uh, intimidated by a higher level wars. They will not attack the base itself. So as you can see, this particular base, it has a level 3 wars in it. Uh, just the uh, troops being able to whack through the wall eventually later, as you will see, is uh, pretty easy. The barbarians just uh, melt through the wall very easily. If the wars, they are, say, uh, level uh, 5, or level 4, I'm not too sure what town hall level this guy is at, um, but if it's level 5, uh, he basically will be able to defend better. The archers, archer towers and also the cannons behind the walls will be able to take out my troops way better and eventually maybe not even stealing uh, this much resources from him. So this was the last raid before I actually went to sleep. Uh, just anyhow attack because my gold storage was already uh, kept. So just removing uh, one more obstacle before we went to bed and then doing one more upgrade onto my elixir storage. So eventually we did one last attack just to get the remaining amount of uh, gold that we had to fill up before I went to bed. So eventually just deploying all my troops all in the random fashion, uh, not uh, focusing onto a specific structure because I just uh, didn't really uh, mind losing the rate and not getting the gold because I really had too much gold and uh, uh, resources already stocked up. So as you can see on the top right, my capacity has increased to 500,000. My gold storage has actually uh, completed upgrading. So uh, very nice to have a uh, more capacity, hopefully be able to get up to 4 million capacity ASAP so that I can uh, farm more goals for, and uh, eventually uh, upgrade more walls to progress faster in the upgrades of my base. So just uh, carrying on with the attack, as you can see the archers, they did really well to take out a lot of the structures and taking out that last gold mine over there on the right side. So yeah, this was a very nice attack. So that's it for this particular episode. I will hope to update you guys again tomorrow on day 5 or probably even day 6. If uh, for those kind of days that I'm unable to update for that particular matter alone, I will try to uh, squeeze two days together, making it into one episode. So you guys will stay tuned for it and watch more of my Let's Clash. And with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and Clash On!